<laughs> this just in. Um, <laughs> just kidding. So, first lesson before we get started, because you're going to find some of these things. I'm going to try to keep them to three-minute clips. You're going to find them boring. No, you won't. Um, because I'm too energetic and really high strung and people don't know what I'm going to do next. So, uh, you won't find them boring, but you're going to need to actively listen. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the first tip or trick I want to teach you. It might take a couple of videos because we have short attention spans where you're going to get flashes and you're going to want to do other things. So I want you just to understand that you're going to have to actively listen, not just hear as a salesperson. It's a verb. It's not it's not a passive thing. Uh, if you think you can listen like you breathe or walk without a second thought, you're not a salesperson. Because if you are not actually listening to your audience, you won't be able to deliver or be able to construct a pitch that will hit home, right? Deliver that content, okay? Um, you need to be able to listen so you know how to present that. Pick up on key points to make the customer excited. Did they lilt? Did they, did they pause after something? Did they, you know, stutter through something? Did they have fears? That, you know, everything. You've got to be able to pick up on this so that you know how to talk to them and hit home, right? People don't buy on logic. They buy on emotion. Now, also key and, and effective speakers know that they need to mirror their customer. This comes with delivery, delivery of your pitch because, you know, customers want to buy from light people. Uh, if, if they use the phonetic alphabet and they and they use some weird word like elephant for E, well, I mean, if you're a military guy, you might want to correct them and say echo, but no, don't refrain from this control. You know, give them that word. If you can find that one common ground, you can really do business with a lot of people you might not have known, right? Um, it, slow down. It, it, you got to pick up on key notes. What what got them excited? And also, you want to think about what you like to hear. Uh, one of the key things you can do here is the most beautiful word a person likes to hear is their name, right? So as you're introducing yourself, actively listen for their name so that you can ret you know, return that to them. Don't be one of those salespeople that you, you get nervous halfway through your pitch because you, you weren't paying attention on the front end of the transaction. You didn't pick up on the customer's name. That's just rude. And you might as well be a cashier, okay? The whole point of being a salesperson is that you make more money than them through commissions. Well, you got to work harder. And part of that is listening, okay? So I want you guys to sit back. Maybe take some notes, okay? You asked for this. This is three minutes. Take some notes on these active listening courses, okay? Cool.